Uh, I need to stop hating myself and depriving myself. Mm -hmm. I need to stop being such a, a guilt-ridden survivor of the war. Patrick Dillon, a Vietnam War veteran, creates artwork as a way of managing his PTSD. Instead of turning to drugs and alcohol, as he had in the past, he combs through New York City trash cans and the shores of nearby beaches for objects he uses to express himself through art. So when I go in the pond, I, I, I just leave all that. Well, it's just overwhelming because it's big ocean. It um, it really does short circuit all, all of the you know the, the spinning memory of my stolen fucking life. Patrick invited us into his home. He views his cluttered studio, strewn with doll parts and seagull carcasses, as a manifestation of his mind. It is amidst this chaos that he feels safe. I mean, coming to my studio is really like a big deal. Letting anyone come in there is a big deal. You're stepping into the, into the inside of my head. This is what's come out of me as opposed to me repressing it or drinking it or drugging it. This is catharsis. This piece is about Agent Orange. What, what may be looked at as a, you know, a nightmarish piece of art, um, but for me, um, will, I hope, evoke uh, all kinds of pictorial and uh, emotional. When an art collector or a museum goer sees this, I hope they, I hope they are moved. You know, the devotion to this expressivity is what keeps me from getting cancer or shooting heroin. As great as those ideas sometimes feel and, and, and seem, I'll, I'll come back down here to this underground room and, and make something mythic and horrific and expressive and call it a day, you know, and not hurt myself or anyone else. I want people to know that um, you were um, the most important human being in this society as a soldier. You know, do something with this, with this experience now and express it. Express it. <laughs>